Hey y'all, welcome to Pleiadian Point of View. I'm Peyton with Peyton Energetics, and I'm a Pleiadian channel and starseed coach. So in today's point of view, the Pleiadians wanted to talk to us a little bit about creating our reality. Now, this is something you are probably generally familiar with. We have all heard our spiritual teachers talking about how we are the creators of our reality. But what the P's wanted to touch on in today's point of view is to bring our attention to one of the ways that we give up our power to do this, that we might not realize we're doing. Now, we all know that we are the creators of our reality, that we define our own reality. But one thing that happens in our human world is we give this power up without realizing it. As we go about creating our reality, we do that through our belief structures. And over the course of our human lifetimes, we start to pick up beliefs from everywhere. So we pick up beliefs from our family, from our culture, from our religion, from our society. We are constantly bombarded with people telling us what reality is, what life is. And because we're human and this is how we operate, we tend to believe what we hear we tend to take it at face value. So by the time we are adults, we have a huge network of beliefs that are causing us to build the life we have built. And we may not realize just how many sources of these belief systems there are. This is one of the ways that our 3D matrix operates. It tells us what reality is. And I don't know about you, but growing up, one of the established rules was that you always watched the news. What kind of person didn't watch the news? It was how you knew what was happening in the world. But as we start to wake up, what we realize is this is how the matrix operates. It tells us what our reality is because as humans, we tend to believe it. And when we start to put our energy on that, we start to focus on that story. We start to put our emotions and our energy into it. We start to create that as our reality, not because it's the truth or objective reality, but because we've bought into it. We have made an energetic investment in it. And this is one of the ways, this is probably the main way that our 3D matrix keeps itself going, right? It cranks out information to us 24 seven that tells us what to believe, what the world is, what reality is. And if we are listening to that, if we are buying into that, we are making that our reality. So as lightworkers and starseeds, every time we are listening to outside sources of information, be it mainstream or spiritual, we are giving other people the power to define our reality. So we are giving up our sovereignty every time we do this. Because one thing that we misunderstand a lot of times as humans is that we think that there are certain things that just are, that they must be true for everyone. But just because someone else is having an experience or choosing to create something, doesn't mean that has to be our reality. As the Pleiadians like to say, everyone on your planet can choose something as their reality and you don't have to. So just because there is allegedly this thing happening in the world or that thing happening in the world, doesn't mean it has to happen in your world. But the way you decide that or make that decision is whether you are feeding it with your energy, whether you are buying into it and making that part of your belief structure. So that is what the P's wanted to encourage us to do in today's POV is to start being very careful where we are giving up our sovereignty. And anytime we are taking in external information, we are at risk of doing that because we are allowing another source of information to tell us what reality is. Now, the P's are never telling us to stick our head in the sand, to not pay attention or listen to any other person in the world. That's not what they're saying. What they're encouraging us to do is to turn up our discernment, to start to be careful when we are paying attention to sources of information that our higher self is disagreeing with. Now, how do you know that? How do you know if you are watching a video or listening to a story on some information platform 
whether this is in alignment with your higher self. Your higher self will let you know if something is out of alignment by giving you a sense of negative emotion. So if you are starting to feel fear as you listen to any source of information, if you are starting to feel hopeless or powerless, if you're starting to feel anger, what is happening is you are getting feedback from your higher self that that is not in alignment with your soul's truth. So this is not about being in denial. The guides are never telling us to be in denial or to suppress anything, but they're encouraging us not to just take things at face value. They're saying we really can't afford to do that anymore. And one of the ways that you can approach this as you listen to information, because let's face it, we are going to listen to information. We are going to look at some sort of news platform. We are going to watch some sort of video. It's just what we do. So how do we do this in a way that doesn't give up our sovereignty as the creator of our reality? And the way you do that is by just asking yourself a simple question. Do you want to make this your reality? So one of my teachers had a brilliant expression that always stuck with me. She said, don't buy into the illusion unless you like it. Because if you are listening to stories and fearing them or feeling powerless or hopeless, you are feeding a story of something you don't want. So you are making that your reality when you feed it with your energy or when you buy into it with your belief system. And unfortunately, as humans, the more we hear things, the more we tend to buy into them. So now is the time in these energies to be super careful with this, to not be giving up our sovereignty to outside sources of information. Again, don't buy into the illusion unless you like it. So as you are listening to any source of information, be it mainstream, spiritual, alternative, just ask yourself the simple question, do you want this to be your reality? because you always have a choice. You define your reality, no one else, unless you give up that power. So it's time to take our power back in defining our reality. It's how we bring down this matrix once and for all. So that is what the peas wanted to share with us in today's point of view. Let me know in the comments below, how are y'all doing in these energies? Drop that in the comment box. And while you're down there, don't forget, Hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you next time. Bye.